Welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. For completing this lab, we required our personal GitHub account. So if you don't have your personal GitHub account, so just simply create one. Once you're done with that, just simply start your lab and log in with your credentials. Now in the description box of this video, I will share one GitHub link. Just simply click on that link and then you are able to access this file over here. Now just simply scroll down and from here you can see this URL. So just simply open this URL in incognito window. So just simply wait for that and this URL will activate your cloud shell. So just simply wait. And it's done okay let me just simply increase the text size for you so that you can read all the instructions carefully okay now what you do we have to just simply use this curl command to download the github file from the github to your cloud shell then we have to make this file executable for that we have to just simply run this chmod command so just simply copy this command come back over here and paste hit enter wait for a second and then just simply click on this authorize button over here now just simply wait on this page Okay, now here you can see what account do you want to log in. So you have to just simply use github.com. So just simply hit enter button over here like this way. For this, you have to just simply use HTTP yes, like this way. Now here just simply type Y and hit enter. Okay, now just simply choose login with your web browser. Just simply hit enter button. Now again hit enter button over here like this way. Then you will get this URL. So just simply click over here. Now on this page you have to log in with your GitHub credentials, not your lab credentials. Make sure that you have to log in over here with your GitHub credential. So just simply type that like this way and then click on the sign in. Just simply wait, click on this continue. Now for this token, just simply come back over here and from here you can see this token. So just simply copy this come back and paste over here like this way click on this continue and then click on this authorize github over here wait for a second and it's done now if you just may come back to the dashboard over here just may wait and as you can see one repository is created over here now just may click on this url over here like this way just may wait Okay, now you can just make click on this create service over here. If you didn't get this page, you can just make click on this connect repo also. So just make click on this create service. Okay, from here just simply choose continue deploy from the, your repository. Just simply choose this option. Then click on the setup over here. Okay, then click on this authenticate. Click on this continue. And it's done then click on this repository over here now if you are using your old github repo then you will get lots of repository so what repository you have to you have to just me go for your hello world this repository okay so just me click over here then click on the checkbox and then click on this next So it's done now for the build type just simply choose go node.js python java okay so just simply click that scroll down a little bit and click on the save button over here like this way now just simply wait and it's done now just me scroll down over here and from here you can see this authentication so for here just simply just allow an authentication over here then scroll down and then click on this create button over here now just me wait Now you have to just may wait for this deployment get complete. Once it's done, make sure that once you're done with this deployment, then only you have to run this command over here. Okay, because after this deployment, we are going to update the version. And for that, we have to run this command. So if you run this command previously before getting this deployment complete successfully, then you won't get a full score on this lab. So just may wait for a couple of minutes over here.
and it's finally done now if you just me come back over here and from here you can just me copy this command so just me copy this come back to your dashboard over here and just me run over here like this way meantime you can do you can just me come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for the task number one and click on the check my progress for the task number two you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated immediately on both these tasks don't worry about that just me wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a score over here for sure so as you can see the score is updated now for the last task if you just me come back over here and from here you can see this command is executed now if you just me come back over here and if you just may refresh the page over here just may wait and watch and as you can see it's updating to the new version meanwhile you can just may come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for the last task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated immediately no need to worry just may wait for this thing get complete and once it's done then you will get a score over here for sure and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys